Hunt. Howdy everyone, I'm back at it again. We're gonna hit the river in the kayak today. Got a new spot. I'm gonna try here, a new stretch of river at least. All right, make sure I got everything, net, paddle, fishing rods. We got the important stuff at least. This little ice shelf is going to collapse if I get too close to the edge, but I'm going to try to step onto some rocks here rather than the ice itself. Nice and easy. So I think what I'm gonna try out here today are some of these three inch spoiler shads I picked up at Walmart. These were, I believe they were $1.89 for a two pack. Got one rigged up on my rod here already, but that's kind of a nice cheap lure. There's lots of snags out here on the river, so. It won't be too painful if I lose a few of those guys to snags. Pretty shallow looking right in here, but I kind of plan to fish my way downstream just a little ways. We'll fish our way back up. Like I said, I've never fished this stretch before, so we might have to explore out here a little bit. Try to find some of those deeper holes or the spots where the fish like to hang out. Yeah, one of the reasons I figured I'd try that smaller little three inch plastic is, well, it's still pretty cold out here. I don't think it's supposed to hit 40 degrees out here today. I doubt the water temp is 40 degrees either. So when it's cold like this, sometimes those fish seem to prefer a little bit smaller of an offering rather than my big eight inch swim bait i've got tied on my other rod here but I, know, I might toss that around a little bit today too we'll see get down right behind this tree here just in case there's something hiding back there Nope, nothing back there. Chuck one down the middle. Looks like we're starting to get into some deeper water here. Maybe we'll start getting into some fish. So far, I haven't seen anything sitting on the bottom, but you know, sometimes you just gotta find that right little spot on a stretch of river and it seems to be holding a bunch of fish. Buddy, where are you going? I 
No, that fish is still right up in front of me. I just saw his tail there. We'll give him a quick look at my eight inch swim bait and if he doesn't go for it. Well, I think I'm gonna keep working my way downstream and try these fish again as I'm working my way back up. Oh, there's another one right here. There's definitely a couple of muskie hanging out in this little area right here. I know there's two of them over here. I'm wondering if they're starting to get ready to spawn and just not real, real interested in biting, but... Muskie are a really finicky fish. Sometimes you just gotta wait for that bite window to open up. No? Don't want it? <laughs> I'll be back for you later. He took a swipe at that jig, you guys. fish wants to eat. I'm gonna have to throw my big swim bait at this one though. Got him, got him with the swim bait. Oh my gosh, I knew that fish wanted to eat. Look at that muskie, guys, that's a monster. I don't think I have him hooked real well. Yeah, he took a swipe at that little cream spoiler shad first. I think he actually chased it back a couple of times. He looked like he wanted to eat. I gave him a little bit bigger offering with that eight inch Savage Gear foreplay. And he was all over it. Oh, adrenaline rush. Big time, oh! I knew I didn't have my hooks in him good. Was a big musky, you guys. Ah, oh, just before I could get him in my net. Oh, he shook my hooks. Oh man. 
well, I don't know. Maybe I will throw around that big swim bait a little bit. I know we're coming up on a couple other spots where I saw a muskie earlier. Oh man, I <laughs> finally get one to bite though. Oh, that's just rough. I might have to come back later and see if I can get that one to bite again. That was a big muskie. Oh, heartbreak. Heartbreak big time. Now I need some redemption. Now I have to at least get one in the net. Well, I'm still a little bummed. <laughs> that muskie back there shook my lure, but I'm coming up on a spot where I saw a couple others earlier today. We'll see if we can get some redemption up here. We're gonna just stick with that eight inch swim bait for now. Seems like these fish are roaming around a little bit, kind of up in the middle of the water column, so. Normally I just toss a jig at them, but I think they're sitting up a little bit higher today or maybe the swim bait will work a little better. Got this one. We're getting this one in the net. He's not quite as big as that other one that I had, but oh man, that was sick. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Well, there's some redemption at least. That was one of the coolest eats ever. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get my anchor dropped get these adrenaline shakes under control real quick. Oh look, that fish even shook my lure. Yeah, I don't think I had that one hooked real well either, so I was trying to grab my net as quick as I could there. All right, you guys, look at that fish. Now that is what I call redemption. <laughs> Yeah, it's only been about 10 minutes since I had that other one shake my swim bait. That one was definitely a bigger fish, but man, that was one of the coolest eats I have ever seen. I had a totally different fish looking at that lure, and then this one came in out of left field and just plowed it. Off he goes. Nice, healthy release in that cold water. Awesome, awesome day out here on the river. I'm not even upset about losing that bigger one. I'll be back for that fish another day. It's 
still really cool footage. I wish I could have got that one in the net, but at least we got a muskie in the net. Anytime you can get a muskie in the net, it is a pretty good day of fishing. Got that one on the good old eight inch Savage Gear four play swim bait. We got the perch color. I think I've caught more big fish on these eight inch four plays than any other lure I own. Well, <laughs> I'm still in disbelief about what just happened here. So I think I'm just gonna chill for a minute or two, collect my thoughts, and then we'll resume fishing. the king of the watery jungle himself. Playful today. He's sitting right up here in front of me. Perfect. Snuck right up on that one. I didn't want to put my paddle in the water. But I had to. Well, we've got about a hundred yard stretch here where I know there's at least three muskie roaming around in here. I caught one of them but I've seen two others. I had one of them take a good look at that swim bait. So I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to paddle back to where I lost that other big fish. I mean, it's been half hour, 45 minutes now. Maybe he's forgot what my lure looks like. <laughs> I hope. But that'll give these fish in here a little chance to cool down too. Maybe they've just seen my lure too many times the last 20 minutes or so since I caught that one. So I think that's the plan. I'm going to paddle back up to where I lost that big and we'll see if we can interest that one in my swim bait again. And if not, we've got a few fish down here. That all seemed at least somewhat active. I mean, I had the two, oh, there goes one right there. Yeah, I mean, I've drifted and had them swim right past me about a half dozen times the last 20 minutes. So I think those fish may be aware that I'm out here trying to catch them, I don't know. He just shook his head at me. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna go for it again. He's like, nope. Well, I did paddle back there and see if I could get my hooks into that big one I lost earlier again, but 
I did see him. He just kind of insulted me and swam off though. He just kind of chomped his mouth like this and he was gone. <laughs> but I know there's at least a few musky up here that haven't seen my lure in about 20 minutes. We'll toss the old swim bait around and see if we can finish the day off with one more. It's already a successful day in my eyes, but one more fish wouldn't hurt. Let's head right back up here to where I caught that one, the one I actually got in my net. There's two of them there that, that was weird. I've never had two musky eyeing my lure next to the kayak like that. Surprisingly, that one ate my lure, even though I had a huge mess of weeds on my hooks. I was just trying to flutter that thing along the bottom like a dying perch. That seemed to do the trick. Yeah, I forgot to check the lunar peak times today, but I guarantee you we were just in one when we had all that action. Oh, sometimes there are other factors too, like it's probably that mid-afternoon time when the water got up as warm as it's going to get for the day. A lot of times with pike and musky, I find that's when they're the most aggressive. Could be why none of them really seemed to want to commit. Oh, bad one. Chase it up there. As I was working my way upstream, I might have just been waiting for that water to warm up a bit more. Got him. Oh my gosh, that was sick. Get in my net. Oh man, this is not good. Well, I got that fish. <laughs> Quite possibly one of my worst net jobs ever, though. Okay, settle down now. Might just have to snip this hook. He kind of bent one shot on himself. Oh, there we go. Now he's just got my line through his teeth here. We'll definitely have to retie that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Whew. Second muskie of the day. What a crazy day. I'm gonna set him in my net for a second here. Whew. Man, look at the size of that muskie, you guys. Second one of the day in the net. I can't believe I landed that fish with the botched net job, but what a beast. Look at that thing. Hold on for just a second. 
make sure she's all ready to go. Starting to kick. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Awesome catch. Well, that one makes up for the big one I lost down there because I think that one was the bigger of the two. Oh, unbelievable day out here on the river. All right, I got my lure fixed up after that last fish kind of mangled it. <laughs> yeah, man, there's some big muskie on this stretch. That's got to be one of the biggest ones I've caught. I'm going to have to go shopping for a bigger net. I'm going to come back here this summer. Yeah, it just wasn't a good net job with that one either. I mean, if I could have got him in there head first without catching the net with my hooks, that would have helped. But man, after that other big one shook my swim bait, I was just too eager to get that fish into my net, I think. But either way, it wouldn't hurt to have a bigger net. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of limited with how big of a net I can have here in the kayak. I mean, that's getting pretty close to it there, the one I've got, but I could probably find one a little bit bigger. I was getting a little bit nervous with that cheap Walmart net when I let that big fish sit in there too. Oh, there's one right next to me here. There's just musky all over this little area right here. It was crazy. What's that over there? Is that a perch? That might be the one that I just caught. Looks to be about the same size. The weird thing is though, all three of those fish that I've got my hooks into today, I mean, they pretty much came right up next to me in the kayak. Like they don't even care I'm out here sitting in my kayak. They just want to eat. It's been a fun day out here. Kind of a slow start, but man, once the bite turned on, these fish have been absolutely fearless and aggressive. Oh, there's a little drainage thingy over there. I didn't notice that coming upstream. Oh, is that even what that is? It's a big musky right there, you guys. I'm just gonna let myself float downstream. I'm just paddling right up on these fish today. Right, he's right out from that little tree hanging over there. Mine saw me, but he didn't see the lure I'm throwing at least. Should go pretty much right past him. Got him. Oh, that fish went right for it. That's another muskie too, you guys. Oh my gosh. Epic day out here on the river. I just don't even know what else to say at this point.
perfect net job that time. <laughs> Stay in there now. Oh my gosh. Wow. I just don't even know what to say at this point. Third musky of the day, another just monster fish. Epic day out here on the river. Yeah, that one was really cool. I saw this fish just sitting up there. Backed off of him a bit, threw my lure up in front of where I knew he was and no hesitation. That one just clobbered that swim bait. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for today's trip. I've made it back upstream here to where I started from. What an awesome day on the river. Three muskie landed, I lost a fourth. Honestly, I don't even care about that first fish I got my hooks into that shook my lure. I landed the three after and man, we got some really nice fish out here today. Yeah, I know at the start of the video, I said I was gonna be fishing one of these little Walmart cream spoiler shads. But sometimes you have to switch it up, adapt, figure out what those fish like. And today it was most definitely the eight inch Savage Gear 4 play. Yeah, I got three monster muskie in the kayak. What an epic day. Well, that's gonna do it for this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.